We've arrived at the research site on schedule and without incident. Dr. Amanda Holt and her assistant Samuel Curtis are already analyzing their first batch of samples. Engineer Frank Simmons has reported the successful installation of the new O2 system. I've requested an AB from the company. Hmm. Two to three weeks. Dr. Dr. Holtz has requested another visit to the research site. Not more samples, surely. The hold is bursting at the seams as it is. No reply from the company yet about my AB request. Did they get my message? Simmons has reported feeling unwell, so I put him on light duties. There's something seriously wrong with Simmons. I think he needs urgent medical help. The engine is not responding, though. Problem seems to be in the Len Drive 1. Still no response from the company. Could be interference or something. I'd better set a, a distress beacon. Simmons has attacked and killed Dr. Holtz and Curtis. He seems to have contracted something that has changed him beyond all recognition. He's currently hiding out in the cargo hold. No response yet to our SOS. So I, I guess I'll have to get past him to repair the lens drive myself. If I've got any hope of getting out of here alive. I replaced the old antisept aeration system with brand new Bio2 aerators. Those are a million times better. O2 levels are now constant and I've installed surplus tanks on all decks as backup. The Compuplex unit in Lend Drive 1 is reading a 0.003 differential from yesterday. Could be a possible crack. Worst case scenario. So I'll do hourly checks. I've taken comms offline to rewire the anti-stat. We'll do a test message at 1800 hours. We arrived at the excavation site and collected as many samples as daylight would allow. Um, Samuel is cataloging first day's finds and I'm putting them through the mass spec. Initial results are promising. I'll um, write up my prelim notes tonight. The rest of the crew seem okay. Captain's a bit standoffish when I complained about the funny smell. Um, the engineer fellow, who was a bit more helpful, um, said not to worry, as was the new O2 system settling in. Yes. The mass spec results prove my theory. But I need more samples. Uh, that first batch have already deteriorated, and the DNA analyzer seems to be playing up. I've asked the captain if we can go down and do another survey. In the meantime, Samuel and I will do the dissections as, uh, as soon as the specimens fall. The engineer, um, Simmons, was it? Uh, we was hanging around the lab and acting a bit strange. He looked ill to me, but I'm no doctor. The captain has informed us on no uncertain terms that we need to return to HQ. Um, but there seems to be some sort of technical hitch with the ship's engines, apparently. We'll have to make do with the samples we've already collected. Uh, I guess I better pack up all our stuff. Samuel said he saw Simmons today. Said he looked ghastly and tried to tell him something. He could only point before he collapsed. Oh, I've uh, double-checked the DNA analyzer, and it's working fine. I think it's picking up some sort of background contamination. Uh, it could be in the ear. I'm going to get myself a respirator. I'll hold myself up in the lab. Simmons has gone crazy, and, oh my God, he killed poor Samuel. The captain's no use at all. My only hope is... What's that noise? <laughs>